Hey, I'm your Korean skateboard dad. I mean, I'm gonna try to be. So many of you have been telling me about how you love skateboarding and how you want me to learn how to skateboard too. You know, it's something that I really wanted to do when I was a young person, but I really wasn't allowed. But I'm glad that you're allowed and it makes me wanna learn. If it's something that you like, I wanna try it too. We've come here to San Jose, California to Circle A Skateboards and Coffee, where my friend Bob is gonna teach me how to skateboard. He's been teaching people how to skateboard for decades now, so I think he's gonna be a really great teacher. Okay, let's go see him. Hey, meet Bob. Hi there. I brought my skateboard. Is this gonna I work? I like it. It's great. So you've been teaching people to ride skateboards for a long time. I give them the basics, and then really with skateboarding, you just give them the basics. Send them on their way. When did you start yeah. skateboarding? Seventy-five. Gosh, how many years ago was that? We don't need to count. <laughs> Yeah. Why do people like to skateboard? What's fun about it? It's what free. You... Yeah, it's free. You just go outside and do it, you know? Yeah. Most things are like like this, right? Left and right. Left Skateboarding and right. is completely different. It's sideways. Kind of requires your brain to kind of think differently mm -hmm. and like just sort of approach mm -hmm. the world differently. Yep, exactly. Because sideways, not straight ahead. Yeah. When I was a kid, skateboarding was kind of like a rebellious sort of thing. Like if you were doing it, then a lot of kids were like getting chased by authorities or like chased it, off of properties. Yeah, but it, things have changed a it, lot. It was like, illegal, like yeah. Yeah, it feels like it's a lot more mainstream. It was illegal? Yeah, I mean technically it's illegal right there. See all these guys skating right there? Yeah. That's, they can all get tickets. But yeah. that's not how the culture works anymore. No, no, but it's it's, it's loosened up. But yeah, so we sit where you talk about the 80s, 90s, yeah. you know? Yeah, skateboarding was a little more punk rock. What do you think made bit? all the difference there? Um, it kind of changed the way people think about it. Say so take a football field or a soccer field or a basketball court or tennis court, and think about the maintenance for that tennis court uh -huh. versus how many people actually use that soccer field or baseball field. Or you right. can pour a bunch of cement over here and it's full of kids all day long. Right. So it's, it's activation, you know, we're activating spaces. You know, I'm not a young person anymore, but a lot of people wanted me to learn how to skateboard. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm too old to never, skateboard? Never, No. Come on now. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna try. So let's learn so, how to skateboard. Well, for starters, do you uh, happen to know if you're a goofy or a regular foot and know the difference between the two? Well, let's talk two. about goofy regular. So this has to do with which foot goes front, right? Yes, exactly. Goofy so regular, regular. regular foot is left foot forward. Uh -huh. Goofy foot is right foot forward. So can I try both and see which one feels Sure, better? that's always the way. You just step, okay. so step one is to just step on the board square. I would just step on it, you know, like over the bolts, like here, both, both bolts. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll get the wheel. There you go. Bend your Going knees that a, way? Yep, uh, bend your knees a bit. And then I'm gonna move the board back and forth. Okay. We're gonna that tight. feels wrong. Let me try the, let me We're try the other We're gonna tighten way. the trucks up a little bit first. Oh yeah? Just so there's less movement. Some skaters ride super tight, some ride real loose. There's no real reason. So now go ahead and step on the board square. Okay. Either way. I think I wanna And then I'll the, push you either way. I think I wanna be this, does this make me goofy nope. or nope. regular? Nope, doesn't matter. Uh, right now we're gonna find out which way you're more comfortable. We're gonna roll you this oh, way. okay. Right? You always want to grab people low, not high. You don't want them swinging. Okay. You want them thinking about the pressure they're putting on the board. No, you're waiting on the board. So put pressure on your heels to turn back. You okay. got it. Now, which way feels more comfortable? This way. That way feels more comfortable? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Korean dad's goofy. Okay, I'm goofy. There we go. Hey, now, I'm your goofy Korean dad. The reason why it's called Goofy Foot is because there was a 1930s film made by Disney, black and white, where Goofy Ooh. was surfing right foot forward. Ooh. That's where it comes from. It has nothing to do with like Goofy or Mall Grab looking bad. It's just <laughs> Goofy, the cool ass dog, was surfing, and this is the way Goofy surfs. So the surfers just picked up on that, and right foot forward from that day no forward kidding. has been Goofy foot. Because you had to choose one or the other. Yeah. Now that we know you're Goofy foot, you're gonna step on the board like this with your foot on your tail, and the first thing you want to learn is this. Okay. That's step one. Go ahead and put that front foot up there. Oh, put up this here. foot, yeah, and just back a little bit. That's perfect. You want to always see at least one bolt. Okay. That way you know you're in a good position. Put pressure on your left foot uh -huh. and lift up the front. Right. And uh -oh. I'm gonna help you out. Go ahead. You got it. See right there. Yeah. And then push that back down. Yes. And then try that again. When you get shaky and fatigued like that, it's just because it's not that it's a heavy thing. It's just that you haven't done it. Got right. it. And no one should feel bad when they don't know how to do it. Not at all. That's this. No is, one's supposed to know. This how to is do completely this. abnormal to anything. You know, like walking, riding a bike, all that stuff. Right. It's totally different. And so yeah, just put your foot on the back tail like that. And as you see, it's a little bit lighter now that your foot's farther back. Push it back down. Maybe put your foot up a little bit further more. Now you can see how it's different. Now it's heavier. 
right? And a little less comfortable, but when you start riding, it'll be more comfortable. Cool, now I'm gonna try it without holding. So okay. go ahead and push it back down, Nick, and I'm gonna let go. Okay, and maybe the yeah, balance. Yeah, good, good, yeah, you got it. And you call this to the tail. Yep, yep, just go to the tail. This is, but this is part of tail. like a fundamental mm -hmm. skateboarding Because skateboarding skill. is all about having the back truck in between your feet. And you constantly skate with the back truck in between your feet and all your action is off that back truck. Oh, so the back truck. Right, right? so you're already starting some turns. So That's these good. like little axles, we call them trucks. Mm -hmm. They're called trucks. Yep, the whole deal is a truck. You got your hanger and your base plate and the kingpin with the bushings in it, and that's where all the action's moving around. But bushing. if you, if you don't know anything, maybe mm -hmm. it's part of it is like, the back truck has to be between your feet. Exactly. In order to have the right kind of balance. Yep, in order to skateboard. Got period. it. So that's step one. Okay. And let me show you step two is simply going to be learning backside turns. Now we have a small area here, uh -huh. and when you do it, you're gonna want to practice in a big area. Okay. Make a big circle. But I just want to make sure you're doing it the right way. You're gonna put pressure on your toes, and you're just gonna do a backside turn. This is the backside turn. My back is to the sun. And see how I'm rolling automatically? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm not pushing, but I'm rolling. And then you're gonna do front side. Pressure on your heels, and you just lift up the front and turn it that way. Turn it front side. Front side of the sun, right? Uh huh. And that's all it is. Once you get those two things, then it's backside, Woo! right? Front side. Then you're skateboarding. Look at how much skateboarding I did, and I haven't pushed once. So You haven't pushed one time. Right. So but you haven't kicked with your foot at all. So if you don't do it the right way, this is what happens. If you put pressure on your heels and try to do backside turns, watch. I just stop. Right. Nothing works. If I try to do a frontside turn by putting pressure on my toes, the opposite, I just stop. Got it. Nothing goes. The second I get into that changing of the axis we were talking about, um, you roll. Because you're pushing it. Backside. Front side, so I can right. just keep. I just roll because my weight's pushing it that way. Right. Right. And so you're just gonna practice the backside turn first, and you're goofy, so you can just start here, and then you put your foot on maybe not so far back. Cover a little more. Cover those bolts a little bit. Perfect. Because you don't yeah. need to put a lot of weight on it, right? And you'll just if you put pressure on your toes, and like I said, we don't have much room in here, but you got it. You're doing it in a tight circle, and that's even harder and then put pressure on your heels and you'll turn the other way. That's the three things, learning the balance on the kicktail and then backside turns. And so you're stopping and throwing your arms up right. simply because you got off the uh, right side of it. Right. You can feel it though, right? You can yeah. feel how the, mo the motion's free. Yeah, it's that's what I mean by sort of centrifugal yep, motion. That, that's why I call it free. You know, sure you put your weight into it and you made that happen, but it's not like I pushed or compressed or anything. Right. I just, carved and it was there. Right. That's I'm going to keep practicing feeling. that. Is there another lesson? That's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, I, uh, it's kind of where to I, get started. You huh? know, it is. It is. Thanks so much. I'm going to practice. You're welcome. And I'll, Thank you. I'll take some video of me like getting better and I'll send them to you. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. And then when you get, when you come back and you got that backside front side together, then we can go on to anything else you might be interested in, you know, like an Ollie or, a, or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks friend. You okay. Yeah. Wow. I learned so much. Didn't you? So I'm here with my friend Clara. Hi, Clara. Hi. So Clara's gonna show me her favorite trick that she's learned on a skateboard. How old are you? Um, seven. You're seven? How long have you been skateboarding? Um, well, I got my skateboard when I was five, so about two years, I guess. Yeah, and, and what do you like about skateboarding? Um, it's really fun, and you can do it by yourself. Yeah. But you can also do it with friends. Cool. So can you show me the trick that you like to do? It's called a kick turn, uh -huh. then my dad called it tic tac. Nice, nice. So you can also do it where you do a bunch of small ones uh -huh. and it helps you kind of move. A bunch of small ones, <laughs> yeah. Could you always do kick turns? My dad taught me when we were at my grandma's house because there's a big lot out front. Yeah. Did you have to practice to get good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, how long did you have to practice, do you think? Mm, I'd say a week, I guess. A week? That's a long time. Was it frustrating at first because it wasn't that easy? Yeah, I guess so. But then how, how did you get better? Uh, I just practiced when I could. Whenever we went out on weekends, 
I was, I was like, can I bring my skateboard? Can I bring my skateboard? Uh-huh. We go in front of the hospital because it's smooth there and I practice. Very cool, so lots of practice. Well, I think I need to practice a lot more, but if you can show me, then I'll know what to practice. So you said you were going to do a kick turn maybe on the ramp. Is that mm -hmm. what you're going to do? Oh my goodness, that was great. Do you think I could learn how to do that? Um, sure. What do I need to do? Just kind of just go up and just time it right? Yeah. Well, I'm going to try one. And will you watch me and then afterwards tell me how I did? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's try. I hope I don't fall. Am I kicking with the right foot? Was that right? Yeah. I'm gonna just, try one more. You just need to go a little bit faster. A little bit faster? Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, how was that? You just want to be kind of high. Can you show me again? Yeah. Nice. Nice, okay. I think, I think watching you, I think I learned a lot. I'm gonna try one more. A couple turns. Hey, I did it. That was really helpful. I learned a lot from watching you and then you gave me really good tips. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there a trick that you're working on now that you want to get good at? Going off that curb right there. Off the there. curb. So for all the tricks that you want to do, if you want to get good, like what do you think you have to do? Practice. Practice. Well, I'm so glad to, to meet you. Thanks for showing us your kick turn and good luck with uh, your practicing. Thanks. I'm going to keep practicing. Ooh. My favorite skateboard thing I think since I was a little kid was this. I just wanted a skateboard so I could kick it up. Is that silly? 